I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, this is, uh, you say, well, Fleming's Ultimate Garage, aren't you guys like uh, high performance cars, muscle cars, exotic cars? No, actually, we are cars. We are cars that are special, cars that are uh, one of a kind, cars, things like that, that really make a big difference. This is exactly one of those cars and fits in so well with what we do because, first off, Couple things. This has been driven 500 miles a year. 500 miles a year, 16,300 original miles on it. The Carfax proves it as well. I'm gonna walk around today. We're gonna meter the paint electronically so we can see that it's the original paint on the car, original interior, original carpets. Everything about this car is completely uh, supple, uh, great feeling, and show worthy. So if you wanted to take this car to a show, uh, you could virtually be guaranteed that there is no other 85 Chrysler Fifth Avenue in the world Right, so you have the lowest mileage Chrysler Fifth Avenue in the world if you go to a car show. All right, so uh, having said that, um, let's take a peek at this. You know what I did want to tell you too is, I sold these when they were new. I sold, that's how old I am. I was selling these when they were brand new and they were great cars then and they're still great cars and they drive like a dream and they are luxurious and they are so cool going down the road. You should see this car outside the road when we do a test drive and what have you. It just looks great, right? So this is all factory paint here. Uh, we'll walk around and we'll meter it. It's hard on white. White doesn't really show up well uh, for doing our special check the paint, but you can see how clear everything still is in here, all right? Factory pinstripes are still on the car, all right? And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and walk around and do our electronic metering of the car, all right? And so just to tell you how the meters work, all right? So they should be in between uh, somewhere two mils difference plus or minus. So that says 3.5. So you could potentially go up to six if you had to. So like here's five. When it jumps to nine, 10, 11, then you know a panel has been repainted because it's much thicker. It's not that the body shop did a bad job, okay? It's just that they didn't care. It wasn't really important to them for it to be consistent all the way around, which I don't disagree with. So having a car that's original paint, uh, and you know, this is, there's no guarantee that it's all original paint, but it really is uh, the way to verify it using this tool here, all right? This has the original uh, Chrysler Plymouth dealerships, sick or still on it. This will come off if you want. I just left it on there because I thought it was great. Like, look at the chrome and stuff. It's in great shape, we'll keep going. Okay, 4.0. And so it might go, you know, it could go up to six in some places. And then kind of staying consistently around the car, 5.5. This won't get red because this is the fiberglass cap that comes on the cars. And this won't get red because this is the fiberglass cap of the car. So this only reads metal, but it seems to be consistent. It's in, you know, show worthy condition. Um, even the Goodyear Revisit are still on it, man. This is a great car. All right, so what we're gonna do now, believe it or not, is we're gonna open the hood. I want you to see open the hood because if you want to go to a car show, I keep talking about this car in a car show only because it's a time capsule. I'm not sure, this is 2017 we're doing this video, right? I'm not sure I could take care of a car uh, this long. It's just an amazing piece of history. So let's do that. Let's check under the hood and see uh, what it looks like. Okay, so come on up here. So for originality and things like that, you're gonna want to, uh, you know, how Mopars and things like that over the time have gone up in value, right? So this is the original uh, stickers here. Here's the stampings uh, for the core support. Here's the original fender tag, the way the car was built, all the options that were on it, okay? Oh, by the way, this is important because this is the last six of the VIN on the car. This shows you there hasn't been an accident and this piece has been replaced. So 637214 is the last of the VIN, all right? Air conditioning, power disc brakes, power steering, all the modern things that you would want in a car uh, is here. All right, so these trunks were designed obviously for carrying a lot of things. Some people get rid of the, the spare tire here because it takes up a lot of room and they put uh, just a uh, inflator 
spare in there which can go on the side or uh, fix a flat. But this trunk is completely carpeted, right? The cardboard inside here which finishes lining the trunk is all in great shape. Here's the original jacking instructions here. The light works inside like it's supposed to. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Maybe someone remembers riding around with their parents or their grandparents or something like that in one of these cars. This is a great way to uh, relive all that. All right, so come on back here. I slid, slid the seat all the way to the very back as far as it would go. Uh, it's almost hard to drive from there. But just to give you an idea of how much room, I want you to see the carpet. Look at this, man. This carpet was so cool for its time. Nice and thick, plush. The leather is super supple in super great shape still. Headliner's in great shape. This has a sunroof in it, which was an option as well. This car has, uh, it appears to have every single option you could get uh, during the time. Power windows and power locks and the upgraded sound system and the tilt wheel and cruise control. The wire wheel covers, like all those things were options uh, on these cars and came in packages. That's great. All right, let's go up front because that's really where you're going to spend most of your time. All right, so come on in here. I left that dinging on for a reason. That dinging right there says that I'm a nicely restored or beautifully original car because it says that the headlights, the marker lights are on. Okay? All right, this has the rear amp as well. Okay? And the upgraded stereo. Look at that. AM, FM. Hold on one second, I'm getting something that everybody can relate to. Even the rear amp works, right? All right. So, uh, full factory gauges too. Uh, they offered you those back in the day. Showing 16,400 miles and they're crystal clear dash. The dash is in great shape. You can tell this car has been garaged. Uh, its whole life and well taken care of. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it has seating for six inside here. Six people. Can you imagine going to dinner with the kids in a car like this that like, they've never really been in a tufted leather interior or going out with two other couples uh, in a car like this? It changes the whole uh, dinner experience. It's got tilt wheel. Uh, we did talk about some of the uh, things that are on here. Power locks and um, as well as power seat. All right, well, there you go. There's your tour of a time capsule that's taken care of better than uh, I could ever take care of one and hoping uh, uh, that you'll be able to have some fun in it as well. All right, so as we close up the video on this, we're talking a car uh, over 35 years old this car is, man. Some of you watching this video probably have kids 35 years old. Uh, and this is exactly what, if we could afford it at the time, I couldn't afford to buy this car uh, when it first came out. And now that we can, to ride around in something like this time capsule, go to a car show, go to work in it, it's just a great, great car. I get excited about it because I'm probably never going to see another one again. It's like a one-of-a-kind thing, and that's always fun to get something like this. So anyway, if we can help you uh, get some really cool, cool piece of maybe artwork in your life like this, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. You know, this car represents a very uh, interesting time in, in the United States. For instance, Lee Iacocca had taken over this company. He was a Ford guy, came to Chrysler to rescue it. This was part of that rescue where the U.S. government gave them a little bit of money, uh, helped them build all new product, and this is uh, what they did with it, and they sold cars in record numbers, and the reason I know this is because I was selling these cars during that time, and it was an awesome time. And I remember being very patriotic, feeling great about America, and that's why I love these cars so much. And like, for instance, uh, you know, they get bad raps for uh, quality control, General Motors and Ford and Chrysler, but no way, man, you drive this car, it fires up every time. Listen how nice and quiet it is. It has the best engine and transmission combination, the 318 with the uh, torque flight transmission that's been around forever, right? Chrysler virtually pioneered air conditioning. Uh, and the air conditioning is freezing cold in this car. Power windows and the sunroof and all that stuff. I don't know, just an awesome, awesome car. And it's uh, uh, be great in anybody's collection.